once again, the one and only Killer Gang. And today, I'm continuing my Disney movie marathon. So, today, I'm reviewing the Blu-ray version of Mary Poppins. So yeah, this is the special anniversary edition of this film. And Disney, there's rumors that Disney may do a remake of this, which I hope they don't. Because I don't like remakes. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But anyway, so yeah, I'll be reviewing the Blu-ray version of this. So of course, as always, let's get into it, shall we? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. For this particular live-action film of Disney, it takes place in London in the year 1910, where this this one person, he entertains a crowd as a one-man band when he sees a chance in the wind. Afterwards, he directly addresses the audience and gives them a tour of this particular lane, stopping outside the house of the Banks family. So there's this character named George Banks, whom returns from home when, from his job to learn that they, they are in desperate need of a nanny. And of course, this is when the character Mary Poppins comes in, and she's all fluttering about, obviously, and she is needed for the nanny business and she's pretty straightforward yet she's very firm she comes out one of those characters that she's really honest but in, in her own way very womanly very graceful of course very feminine in her own little way and she will become an important figure in the overall story in this film the character of mary poppins comes in in the very next day yeah they find a large number of these foul-faced nannies waiting outside but then suddenly there's this gust of wind that blows in and takes them away and we see these kids of course they witness these characters do witness a young nanny descending from the sky using her umbrella of course she's introduced to the main characters and whatnot and she will of course accompany them throughout the rest of the film so yeah that's basically the over idea the basic premise of the story so this is definitely a really good film folks I quite liked it yeah, even though this is a much much older film yeah it was made by uh, Walt Disney during the early 1960s but it's actually quite good folks it does mix with the animation and live action which is something Walt Disney really want to do and this is based upon uh, a series eight books I believe based on the character this is a really good film folks for the edition in which I'm reviewing folks It really does help to bring the film to life the high quality of the disc itself does help the film To have this quality picture and yes, there is a big big difference in which this film has with the quality of picture because it's really really different from the VHS and DVD copies which of course is of course a good thing and there's packing a bunch of extras, which of course is a plus, which is the whole point of Blu-rays anyway, because they can combine more data than a DVD can, so they really took advantage of that. So that's the good thing here, folks. So, and I did like how the sound quality is here. The sound quality is really top-notch as well. So you can tell the Walt Disney Studios definitely took care of this particular product when they were transferring it from DVD and VHS on on to Blu-ray so they really spent their money's worth it's pretty expensive but trust me on this folks it's definitely worth it so it's one of those things that will say that you will not be regretting it when you purchase it yourself so that's a good thing so this edition of the film isn't half bad actually folks it's definitely worth the price yeah it's gonna you know, cost you a hefty Price if you really want to get your hands on this version of the film, but if you're one of those hardcore Disney fans, folks, it's gonna be worth it. It's definitely not a bad film. I, I quite liked it myself. And yeah, if you're a fan of this film, folks, and and you never owned it on Blu-ray, I should check it out. When it comes to their live-action films, I personally believe that Disney did it best in the past. It's not quite as good as it used to be back then. And Mary Poppins is definitely one of their best features from um, ages ago. And I really like this film. And I thought it was definitely one of the Disney's best features in the past. So if you have not seen this film, definitely pick yourself up a copy. 
this version of Corey's. So you can see this film in the top quality, I, I suppose, because it's an HD course. So overall, a great feature. And I can say that even what Disney, you know, himself, you know, he heard the remarks people would say about his live action films. You know, calling it cheesy, calling it corny, but he would just make a remark right back saying that, hey, everybody likes a piece of corn, so it's all good. So yeah, he pretty much take as a compliment in some ways. So I guess that's that, that's how it was. And yeah, that's the thing, folks. He definitely wanted to make some films, have a sense of, of an adventure. And I did like how the the animation and the live action sequences pretty much cooperated with each other. And it comes off so seamlessly, even though the animated parts in these films this film come off really cartoony but it matches perfectly anyway so everything came off rather smooth so that's definitely a great sign there so yeah definitely folks pick yourself up, up a copy yes sir -y. yeah i recommend this film even though i'm living in, in a super secret place folks yeah you know honestly like i said i said this multiple times before i'm more of a dvd kind of person really but I would occasionally from time to time buy the Blu-ray stuff, I guess, because why not? So overall, folks, check this one doesn't out, and the movie itself isn't half bad either. It's still lengthy, it's a little over two hours, it's almost two hours, it's almost two hours and a half, so the, yeah, it's pretty long, so you definitely make some time, watch it, and, you know, purchase this version. So anyway, Mary Poppins, the original film, gets an overall rating. Of a 7.3 out of 10. You can say 7.3 out of 10 for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. See ya. Oh yeah.